What is up guys, it is Dylan from Redneck Tuners and today I have a special type of video for you guys. I'm actually not gonna be working on any cars today. I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of stuff that's frustrating me because I cannot stand to see it anymore. And I'm hoping that as a community we can make a change. But um, if you guys aren't already subscribed, please hit that like button, or hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, tell me what you think about this video, all my other videos. Please give me some feedback as it really does help me. Um, but I'm gonna explain to you what we're getting into. So as you guys know, the car market in general, but we're going to we're going to strictly focus on JDM stuff. But at, the car market in general is completely out of whack and it has been for like two or three years. So the goal in mind in this video is to kind of just I'm, honestly, I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be to call these things out. I, I don't. I'm not here to tell the everybody that the sellers are you know stupid people or or make you feel bad if these are your listings or somebody you know you know has these listings. Um, honestly, it's it's my opinion. If you agree with it, that's cool. If you don't, even better. I don't know. Just just don't get butthurt about it. It's a video. Um, there's plenty of things out there you can get mad about, but a random dude on the internet telling you your listing sucks is is uh, not not reason for you to be so upset. But anyways. We're going to look into that. I have a bunch of listings already picked out. It literally took me 10 minutes to pick out some of the worst listings I've seen and to really just show you guys that the JDM market is so screwed up right now. Um, and I just want you to see it for yourself. So keep an eye out and we're going to jump onto the computer right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are on the computer. Um, the first thing I want to do is, well, I want to show you my YouTube page. You guys are already there, but... Um, Please, if you guys haven't subscribed already, it would mean the world to me if you just click that button. Send, you know, send some likes, some comments my way. Um, it helps me get through these videos, helps me make more videos, and it gets excited to, to keep going. So if you haven't already checked out any of these videos, go ahead and do that. And um, yeah, we're going to jump right into these listings now. So the first listing is a 92 Nissan 240SX. And right off the bat, man, this kit... I already know. I don't even have to read anything. I already know this is a KBD kit because look at the fitment. This is terrible fitment. You got the fiberglass fenders. Looks like you got overs. Uh, kind of looks like overs in the rear. Maybe not, but the terrible skirts. Terrible, like the terrible bumper fitment as well. That's just one picture. Let's move over. Look at that gap. Man, that's crazy. Black headlight housings. Typical. Um... Are these NK wheels? What are these? These aren't even... I don't even know what those are, but they're pretty bad. No gas cap. Uh, we've got all sorts of bodywork in need. Terrible fitting bumper. Terrible fitting trunk. We've got holes in the trunk. This kit is ridiculous. Where is the exhaust? I have no idea. I can't even see it. Wow. This is horrible, man. Honestly, horrible. Let's read the description. Basically, he... I think he said, yeah, it runs great with no issues. They said this is a missile car, blah, 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 gutted trunk. There's no pictures of the motor. We got no interior pictures. We got nothing to go off of based on these, other than these very shitty pictures. And it's a salvage title. Um, and this dude wants 7500 bucks for this. That's terrible. You guys remember when you used to get red top cars? You used to get red top stock 240s. For super cheap, three thousand dollars, four thousand dollars, and I know I'm talking about the past. I know people are like, "Oh, the market's different now." Yeah, that's a bunch of BS. These cars, they rarely, they're not that rare. They're not that rare. You can go anywhere and find these cars. It's not that rare. They're cool. Trust me, I have one. They're cool, but they're not that rare. This this stuff, this fallacy needs to go away. I hate when people say, "Oh, you know, they're getting harder to find." Maybe a little bit harder, but not that hard. Trust me. I, I look every single day at the market. This is bull. I hate seeing stuff like this. Seventy five hundred bucks for a missile. I paid twenty three hundred dollars for my car and it had everything but the interior and it needed some mechanical work. If you're not afraid of mechanical work, then just do it. This is stupid. Like, oh my god, I hate seeing people and people pay this too. But obviously not this one because this one hasn't sold in well six days. But this is terrible. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, all the way across the country in Florida. This is a twenty-five thousand dollar two forty. This is another coupe, <clears throat> I believe. Yeah, this is a red top. Um, let's see, what does it say here? I think this was, if I remember right, this was the original Type X body kit that fits like absolute garbage. That's terrible. Missing side marker lights. One hundred twenty thousand miles on the body. S fifteen diff. 
work wheels and Z32 brakes. Nothing I've never seen on any other 240. Seriously. Okay, you got work wheels and Z32 brakes. What makes this a $25,000 car? You have an SR? That doesn't make it a $25,000 car at all. Genuine Type X kit? Honestly, bro, that's your own doing. I don't don't try to make people overpay because you bought a Genuine Type X kit and that doesn't even fit well. I mean, come on. Like, you're, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. $25,000 for this car. This is... I, I have nowhere to go off on the interior i can kind of see it looks like s14 seats but nothing nothing striking i wouldn't even pay 10 for this May, uh, maybe 10 I'll, I'll give him the benefit of that because it's got the sr but twenty five thousand dollars you're smoking so much crack bro stay away from these cars right now please unless you find a good deal this is terrible next listing Ooh, a 180 all right this is, looks like a real 180 just based on the right hand drive oh and this clear taillights i don't know man those are like spec d's those are like ebay taillights i don't even know uh this guy wants 24 this looks like a dealer actually i think this is a dealer yeah looks kind of yeah dealer twenty four thousand five hundred dollars for a freaking 180 just because what it has an sr like come on guys like this is crazy to me you got painted you got you got painted center console stuff Really, oh, that's not even good shit. You got a one bride seat, run original, car, fake carbon fiber wrap stuff, carbon fiber boot, colored everything. It looks terrible. Colored. Honestly, this car, I mean, it's got NK wheels, I believe. You'll see. Yep, NK wheels, strut bars. Nothing striking about this. You can go overseas and literally buy one at auction. I'm not just saying like that. I'm talking out of my ass. You can literally buy this car for half the price and get it shipped for a couple thousand dollars in better shape than this. Like, I, I have no idea why this is so expensive. Like, it doesn't make sense. These are the exact same cars we have with an SR. And you can buy an SR and put it in a car for cheaper. Why do you want it? Just because it's right-hand drive? Like, really? This is crap. Stay away from this. Next listing. Oh, man, we're on the skylines. I love this one. I've seen this listing. I saw this listing two months ago. That's how crappy this is. Seriously. Listed 20 weeks ago. 20 weeks ago. $22,000 for this R32 GTST. We've got over fenders on this thing. We got fake, <laughs> fake vented fenders. We got this horrible fitting kit. Oh, man. A carbon fiber hood with an HKS sticker. Nothing good coming out of this car. Look at it. We don't have any pictures. Nothing. I don't know why I'm surprised. I've already seen this listing. This looks terrible. No matter what, if this car ran all right, no matter what, this is not a freaking 20, what is it, $22,500. Drift stitch fucking lip on there. Oh my God, man. Oh, this is so frustrating. This is not even close to worth it. Please stay, save your money. Twenty-two thousand dollars. We're in the twenty grand mark now. You can go out and pay cash for a, a daily commuter and have no problems, and then work on your own side project on the side, literally debt free. Why? Why? Why would you do this? Twenty-two thousand dollars. Why? Stupid. Cracked out price. If this is you or this is one of your friends, take this listing down, bro. It's terrible. Next listing. A 93 R32. This is an automatic sedan, non turbo. Why is this $15,000 almost? It, it really, like, come on, bro. This is basically a shell. And it's not even really that good of a shell. I mean, it's not terrible, but automatic, non turbo sedan. No, I mean, this is like the least desirable version of this. Why Why are we putting spending $15,000 for this? Go spend 2000 over. If you really want this, you want automatic, non turbo Skyline. Buy one at auction and 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 wait for the transport and you'll get it so much you'll probably get it a, a fraction of what this costs like just just because it is a skyline is the reason why people are paying so much for it terrible terrible decision i don't even want to look at this one any longer nothing about this is cool so yeah we're gonna skip on that one next listing <laughs> 350z everybody's getting loved today this is a 2007 350z it is a convertible it's an automatic and it has racing stripes on it that's terrible bro that is absolutely terrible so yeah right off the bat 6500 bucks it has 120,000 miles i wouldn't pay 6500 bucks even if it was less than that for a convertible those are in my opinion stupid cars to buy if you want to like longevity at them if you're gonna drif drift it and have a cage on it cool do what you want Longevity, you, you, get rid of it. 
It's terrible. Nobody likes verse. And if you do, I mean, you're that select few. But basically, salvage title, even worse. 6500 bucks for this. This is, this is terrible. I know I've been saying that a lot, but this is absolutely terrible. Why are we paying prices? We're, we're not paying. I'm not paying prices. Why are other people paying prices for these cars like this? Buy one that needs a little bit of work. Don't don't buy this because it's cheaper. It's an automatic and a freaking convertible with this weird ass wing on the back. <sighs> I can't do it anymore, bro. I really can't. Next listing. Hmm. Why is this one blurry? All right. Well, we're gonna skip over that one for now. Come back. We have a 97 S15. This is, I believe, the Spec S. Yep, Spec S. $33,000. I don't even really have to look at this. There's no way, no shot, that we, anybody should be paying $33,000 for any Spec S15. No matter what. I don't care. There's no way. Unless it's drift spec or like fully, fully decked out, there's no shot. You should be paying $33,000 for an S15. Let's take a bigger look. It's a DE. It is not even. <laughs> it is not even a turbo car. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're paying thirty-three thousand dollars for the NA version of the S15. You're crazy. Two hundred and fifty-four thousand kilometers on this body. Wow. And I guarantee you, it's a ninety-seven. I don't know. Maybe my math's wrong, but there's no way this is legal. And if the, if it is, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my math's wrong. But you're paying thirty three grand for an illegal vehicle that's not even turbo, bro. Like this is trash. None of these cars are worth it, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love I love JDM cars. I love everything about them. But there's no shot. Like just wait. These same people, man. These same people are gonna be regretting these, these like having these cars because they can't afford them. Let's go back to that list and see if it works again. Yep, here it is. 97 Mazda Miata. And right off the bat, look at this. Horrible fitting over fenders. Or fender flares, I should say. My bad. Um, it's got some oil spill exhaust on there. Or burnt tip or whatever you want to call it. Um, wow. Yep, definitely got licked there. Bad fitting skirts. Got ripped sparkos. Um, wow, wiring pretty much hanging out of everywhere. Uh, it's got a sub in there. Nothing cool about this. It's a clean title, but they want 6900 bucks on this. And, I mean, it's got some parts, but but no me <laughs> that looks like this is worth seven grand. These used to be like $1,500 cars, and uh, there's no way, bro. It's, it, there's just no shot. If you pay seven grand for this almost, like, you have a problem. I know people list high and hope people like kind of like lowball a little bit, but dude, this isn't even a four thousand dollar car. Just because you got the you know the sparkos and a cage in it and and some some whack fucking fender flares does not mean that somebody should be paying that. Trust me, I know what it's like to lose on an investment, <laughs> and and this is a loss. Just please stay away from stuff like this. Try to find something as stock as possible or something at a, at a way better deal. Look at the soft tops even like ripped up here. That's terrible. Next listing, and it, I, I'm about to hurt. I'm about to hurt you guys' feelings. I'm not gonna lie. The RX-7 owners, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt your feelings right now. There's two types of RX-7 owners. There's the, there's the actual enthusiasts that 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 like these cars and really just enjoy the way the car looks, and then there's the other guys that just cannot get enough of saying they have a rotary, um, and having a rotary, and saying they have to premix and driving and talking about the brap and all that shit. You, they're this, there's two people, man, and and I've met both of them. I know people that have both of them. It's just RX-7 owners. They do that. I don't know what it is. You're either a real enthusiast or you just want to tell everybody in on the planet that the rotary is better than every other motor or engine style or anything like that. You just think that the rotary is the GOAT, and it's not. Let's be real. It's really not because if it was, it would still be in production. Anyways, 91 RX-7 looks like a turbo. Well... Let's be real. It, it says it's a turbo too, but let's read this. Um, <laughs> this is a project car. Comes with a rebuilt, uninstalled racing motor and microtech. You want seventeen grand? You have no pictures of this motor that you said is a racing motor, um, and you just got a bunch of this thing sitting here looking like crap. 
17 grand. Just because it's an RX-7. And you want to know why it's so expensive? Because rotary, because Dorito, because all the braps are crazy, because I premix. Yeah, nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. RX-7s are cool. I would love one, but I'm not going to be that dude. Anyway, sorry if I hurt your feelings. Next listing. Oh, we lost it. Last listing. <laughs> and this is funny. I'm trying to get everybody in here. I'm trying to make sure everybody knows they're welcome. Uh, the SC300. I like these cars, but uh, $7,000? You have 180,000 miles on this car. Looks like they did somewhat professional pictures. I mean, that's cool. If this is... No, it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's an SC300 badged as a soar, which is typical with a 2J GE, the GE non-turbo. Wow. Missing a bunch of interior pieces. Things are falling apart. Yep. Ripped back seats back there. Yep. What part of this is $8,000, bro? Or $7,000? Even what, what part of this at all? This is a $1,500, $2,000 car max. What, what part of this? Seriously. What is it? few little add-ons like spoiler front lip and window visors okay people put that on in Camrys like I, I don't I don't get this bro it, it's too much for me to handle at this point I, I could go on Th this is literally 10 minutes of searching I torched in a couple main cities in America just to see if I could get a couple of things and I did this is literally no joke 10 minutes of research to get all of these listings for you to see and every single one of them was crap there's others that are like some good deals I saw. I'm not going to post them up. I don't want to put anybody on blast if they're trying to find anything. But there are a couple good deals out there. There still are good deals out there. Please do not waste your money on this crap. It is not worth it. It really isn't. I spent $2,300 on my car. And I put a lot of money into repairs. And I can't imagine if I spent more. Like it is terrible. These people paying these prices. And I've seen people pay these prices. It's embarrassing. Honestly, it really is. I feel bad. I try to help as many friends as I can, as people as I know, that anybody reaches out to me. If you need help, hit me up. Send me a listing. Is this worth it? I'll give you my honest opinion. I'm no expert on everything, but shit, man, I've done a lot of research, and none of these are worth it. So, that's all I had for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this style video. If you didn't, that's all right. Leave me a comment about it. If you did, let me know how you feel about it. Let me know which one was the worst deal out of all of these if you could tell me in the comments um and i'll get back to you guys soon i'm um, hoping to see you guys soon in the next couple videos i got more videos of me working on the car um some other content coming out i have a really cool setup coming out with my new camera so i uh, hope you guys enjoy that and i'll talk to you guys later peace